Tailwind CSS 4.0 no longer has the Tailwind config file. Popular way of using Next font is to use it with the CSS variables, which were previously defined in the Tailwind config file. In this quick video, I will show you how to use Next fonts with Tailwind CSS 4.0 using the CSS variables. So let's dive right in. So over here, I have a fresh Next.js project open that I just initialized. And only thing I did was to add this code to the page of this application. So it's the root page. And in this page, we are importing the Booker font from Next Font Google and then setting up the font over here. And if you want to learn more on how to use Next Font, I have a video explaining all the different ways you can use it. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that so you can check it out. But basically, this is the way we can set up our font. So we are setting the subset and wait for it. And then over here, we just have some learn ipsum text. So let's see how this looks in the browser. Okay, so we have the text displayed with the default font. So how can we apply this Booker font for this text using Tailwind CSS? Well, let's take a look. So the first step we need to do is add a variable property over here. And I'm going to set it to font bogger like this. And next, this is the step where we would usually open up the Tailwind config file. And as you can see, we don't have the config file over here. And that is because we are using the uh, version 4 of Tailwind CSS where the config file was removed. So now instead of opening up the config file, we are opening up the globals.css file. And this could basically be any CSS file you want. Just make sure that it's included in your project. And over here, we have this theme inline clause. So over here, we want to add the following line like this. So what's happening in here? Well, we are first defining a Tailwind CSS variable called font main, and we are setting it to the CSS variable font bogger. And this is the same name that we set in the bogger font setup over here, as we can see on this line. So this is all we need to add to our global CSS file. So we can save this file and switch back to the page file. And now only thing left to do is apply this variable to our HTML element so we can apply it to this div and then use the uh, font main. So this one as a Tailwind CSS variable inside of our code. So let's do that. So first for this div, I'm gonna define class name like this. So we are applying this variable from here to this div. So now inside of this div, we can use the font with the Tailwind CSS variables. So if we want to apply for this div, the Booker font, all we have to do is add the class over here. So font main. And again, we are not using this font Booker, but this font main, because we defined it in the globals CSS file like this. And if we change this to something else, then we would need to update it over here also. So now let's save this and see if it works. So let's save it switch back to the browser and looks like our font is displayed correctly. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button below.